My name is Tina, your local guide from Ljubljana. I'm in the oldest part of the city right now, where the old square meets the upper square. This is the crossroad where everything began to develop 1,000 years ago. Let's see where we are. From here you can go to the castle, stay in some fine boutique hotels, shop in antique stores and enjoy meals in some cute local restaurants. Or follow this romantic cobble street which will take you to the city hall. Only a few steps away is the river of Ljubljanica, which served as the main water road since ancient times. Stichna Mansion was built in the style of early Baroque in 1630 with the purpose of accommodating the abbots of the Cistercian Monastery in the village of Stichna. In 1784, Austrian Emperor Joseph II abolished them together with all other, as he said, unnecessary religious orders. Allegedly, this is also where the oldest city hall of Ljubljana stood. Hey, but it's not proven. What really stands out here is the Fountain of Hercules. It sits at the same spot where the first fountain was erected in the 16th century. The new fountain hides messages of the past and the present within it. The form of the mighty tall column is a symbolic tree trunk, which used to grow in this spot, while the tree top was substituted by the statue of the antiquity hero. His eyes are pointed at east, from where the dangerous attacks of Turks were expected. On the stone plague next to the monument, the Slovene poet Janis Menard wrote, Day follows day, year follows year, while water merrily sprouts from the mountain. Passerby, remember, life is seeping away like water, so while there is time, catch it with your hands and drink it. Linden tree is one of the symbols of Slovenia. In Slovenian lands, Linden trees used to grow on every main square in the village or the town. Linden tree marks the place where the community met for social gatherings and where decisions on matters of common interest were made. The branches of a linden tree provided shade for stone tables and benches, a popular meeting place for local leaders and the community. Also, during the period of the Slovenian National Awakening, and the Slovenian people's increasing national awareness, the linden tree became one of the symbols of the Slovenian nation. Join us on our next walk through the streets of Ljubljana and get more travel ideas on go to sloveniatravel.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.